And tonight, we shall be looking at what hinders help from above. We have looked at what attracts helps. We have looked at what happens when helps comes. And tonight we are looking at what hinder this help. The powerful God who is ever ready to send help to your life in various situations can be hindered. The Almighty can be stopped. The all-sufficient God who is able to do abundantly more than we can think or pray can be hindered. Beloved, those things that has capacity, those things that have a capacity of hindering the Lord from sending help to you, even in your time of distress, these are the things we are going to discuss in a few minutes. I would like you to note down this. Prayer is a rail where the locomotive power of God flows. Prayer is a rail where the locomotive power of God flows. God's power can be made manifest through prayers. We saw that yesterday. We saw that year before yesterday. Number two, to a Christian, Bible, to Christians, Bible is our food, but prayer is our bread. They can think of Christ. Aku kwanso buni aineri, mane bere bume aineku. As you cannot survive without breathing, so will a Christian not survive without praying. Kama dona mandin domabo no kusi kume. In the same vein, when we are watching a game, we cannot dig a better garden one day more. Prayerlessness results to three things. Prayerlessness results to three things. Number one. It makes your powerlessness so legendary. A prayerless Christian is a powerless Christian. So when you are not praying, your powerlessness becomes so legendary, so vivid, so glaring. Number two, when you are not praying, you are saying, God, I don't need you. I can handle my situation. I can take care of myself. I don't need you. Because only through prayers, you seek help from God. So when you are not praying, you are saying to God, I don't need you. 
I can handle things myself. Number three, what prayerlessness does. When you are not praying, you are saying to Satan, go ahead. Nobody is disturbing you. Because only through prayers, you can say to the devil, enough is enough. So when you are not praying, it does appear, you are saying to the devil, go ahead. Nobody is challenging you. Nobody is disturbing you. Have you followed me to this point? If you have followed me to this point and we are on the same page, can I see your hand, please? All right. To kneel is to win. A kneeler is a winner. To kneel is to win. A kneeler is a winner. When you cannot kneel before God, obviously you cannot stand before men. When you cannot kneel before God, obviously you can never stand before men. Those who kneel before the Lord, they are the people that stand before the people. To solve our problems, we must get down on our knees to pray. If you want a problem to be solved, you must get down on your knees and pray. Prayer is a means to tackle even difficult situations. Prayers does not change God, but it changes the person that prays and the situations. Prayer does not change God, but prayer changes the person that prays and also the situation around the person. Prayer is simple talking to God like a friend and should be the easiest thing we do each day. Prayer is simply talking to God like a friend. And that should be the easiest thing we are doing every day. So when you are not praying, you are not functional as a Christian. When you are not praying, you are not doing the right thing. Because only through prayers... You can draw strength from the Lord. You can attract God in your situation. You can stop the devil and you will remain a victor. Somebody shout hallelujah. Things that can hinder help from the Lord. I have about eight. God help me to finish them within the time allotted to us. Number one, sins. Especially secret sins.
And I have two scriptures to back it up quickly. Number one is Isaiah chapter 59, verse 1 and verse 2. Isaiah chapter 59, verse 1. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that he cannot save, neither his ear heavy that it cannot hear. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God. And your sins, your sins have hid his face from you that he will not hear. The hands of the Lord is not shortened. Aka Jehovah Adegumbo. No man setting we are near Raka, no gain on number. Ntia echi equechi, no man no aqua ni sudegi. Kama megi. Now look about verse 2. The Bible personalized the saying. He didn't say, but saying. Look at what the Bible says. But your iniquities. Mehen kegi. Obodo meyo ino na akoko gi meye nke gi obu meye gi na egbo chiri ge ekpere na egbo chi aka chi neke na ndoge what are those sins god classified as your sin you are own look at it your iniquity have separated between you and your god and your sin meye gi Heed his face from you that he will not hear. May a be an eme, go guacachine kegari, runebe madono. May a bukian eme, chineke zoe ruya, nebe madono. Chineke jiania were a cheumuya. God guides his children with his eyes. Bible said, the eyes of the Lord. Is upon the righteous. Utuwa ke chine ke sene. Omwe hani hojo chori ime mwaya. Ojo popo ta mwaya. Mane kwen suma. Na anya Jehovah de inso. No de legi de meye. E kwen sana bombo ki ime meye. Maka oma ni ime hana meye. Anya chine ke di na arogi. E si na arogi meye ni. What? So when you are sinning. You hate yourself. When you are sinning, you are depriving yourself benefits, privileges from the Lord. When you are sinning, you are giving Satan backbone to stop your prayers and to stop the hand of the Lord over your life. Especially secret sin. Secret sin. What you call secret here is open scandal before God. Secret sin. Secret sin is one of the major things. Now, look at Psalm 66, verse 18. I would like to read that scripture from different versions. Psalm 66, verse 18. Um, King James Version says, If I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. Can you change it to good news or to NLT or to any contemporary English? Okay, this is good news. If I had ignored my sins... The Lord would not have listened to me. NLT, please. NLT says, If I had not confessed my sins or the sins in my heart, the Lord would not have listened. 
Now, friends, I would like you to listen. Oftentimes, we say that the Lord did not answer our prayers. But the truth of the matter, he did not hear. Before Zagi, Sin. Make God not to hear you. Can this brother bring this thing out, please? Now, the Lord is saying in Psalm 66, verse 18, if I regard, there was, there is a, there is a, I don't know that version that says, if I cherish sin in my heart. Can you find that version for me, please? I don't, I can't remember the version, now, but I have read that in the Bible. Eh? RSV. NIV. Good. If I had cherished sin in my heart, what does it mean to cherish? To take delight. Not that you committed it, you cherish it. You are watching pornography and you are cherishing it. The Bible says the Lord we are not listening to your prayers. A group of bragant non-entities, na kwa iko, ne mejo chineke, gengwa na watch ya na ya iPad, iPhone, smartphone, with ya MB, ya megabyte. You cherish it. Sometimes you will masturbate after that. Sometimes you will go into all kinds of vices. You cherish unrighteousness. You cherish sin in your heart. The Lord will not hear your prayers. Friends, this is the first thing that hinder help from the Lord. Number two, the second thing that hinders help from above, pride. Pride. In First Peter chapter five, verse five, this is how God look at arrogant people. First Peter chapter five, verse five. The Bible said that God resists the proud. Okay, this thing is too. Young men, in the same way, submit yourself to your elders. Yes, all of you be submissive to one another and be clothed with humility for God. Resist the proud, but he give grace to who? The humble. Pride goes before destruction. Ngangaburu hanuzo odide soria. I have a story here, but I don't want to read it. I want to make it as a reference. It's a story in Luke chapter 18. You can write it down in your own notes, Jota. Luke chapter 18, verse 10 to verse 14. It's a story about two men that went to the temple to pray. One of them was a publican, the other was a Pharisee. The Pharisee went to the altar. And there at the altar, he said to the Lord, I am not like this publican, a sinner. I pay my tithe. I do this. I do. He was bragging. He was so pompous. Very arrogant. I'm not like this sinner. I pay my tithe. I do this and I do that. But this publican was down, down, down the temple, beating his heart, saying to God, have mercy on me. 
Jesus said, two of them, the Lord resisted the Pharisee and he gave attention to the publican. Pride. Some of you, your life is full of arrogance. You are full of yourself. Nobody who is full of himself can relate with Jesus who emptied himself. No life that is full of itself can relate with Jesus who emptied himself for us. You are too arrogant. You are too pompous. And that's why God does not attend to your prayers. Do you know what the Bible says? He resists the proud. What does he mean to resist? Hey, 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 don't come here. Don't come here. Go back. That is resistance. When a proud man or a proud woman comes to God in place of prayer, God vehemently opposes him. Are you arrogant? By the way, what makes you to be pompous? Some of you, your position. Is it not because of the Lord that you are in that position? Some of you, your wealth. You have money today because the Lord blesses you. Some of you, you are handsomeness, you are elegance, you are so beautiful. And when you look at your beauty, it generates pride. Excuse me, do you ever contribute in the day of your creation? God created you to be beautiful. What is wrong with you? What makes you to be proud? God resists the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. Some of you, because of your gifts, maybe your spiritual gifts, maybe your talents, whatsoever you have, the Bible says, what does a man have if not what is given to him? Why are you proud of gifts? Somebody gave this gift to you. The Lord bless you. Chineke ne ebuni obwenyenu. Make e na ogaranya rikonni. Chineke ne make ogaranya rie na efere roba. Do you want to test God? Do you want to prove him? God resists the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. Somebody shout hallelujah. So pride is number two. Or the second thing that hinders help from Abu. Number three is unforgiving spirit. Unforgiving spirit. What hinders help from above? How I wish that this church is filled up to hear what hinders help. Because that is the diocesan team for the entire 2018. You need to know this if actually you are desiring help from above this year. Number three is what? Huh? Unforgiving spirit. Look at the word of God. Matthew chapter 5, verse 23 and verse 24. Matthew 5, 23 and 24. This is what God said. I can see it, please. What is at the back? Oh my God. Can happen in here and do a bomb in the German Bible. Matthew chapter 5, verse 23. The Bible said, Therefore, if thou bring thy gift to the altar, and there rememberest that thy brother has ought against thee. Leave thy gift before the altar and go thy way. First be reconciled with thy brother and then come and give your gift. Look at Mark. 
Mark chapter 11, verse 25 and verse 26. Mark chapter 11, verse 25 and verse 26. And when you stand praying, forgive if ye have ought against any, that your Father which is in heaven may forgive your trespass. But if you do not forgive, neither will your Father which is in heaven forgive your trespass. Can I say something to you quickly? I wrote a book on forgiveness. Sorry, it's not part of the com collection that we have here now. But in that book, I took time to analyze what forgiveness is and what unforgiveness is. From the word of God we just read, it's obvious Jesus was saying all those things. Unforgiveness can hinder your offering from what we have seen in Matthew chapter 5, verse 23, isn't it? Jesus says, when you are coming to the altar, perhaps with your offering, and suddenly, as you are close to the altar, you remember that somebody has something against you. Sorry, that you have something against somebody. Jesus said, don't go ahead to give that offering. Keep it by the side. Go and be reconciled first with that person before coming back to give your offering. What does that imply? There are some of us under the spirit of unforgiveness. You have given an offering. It was a waste. The church accepted it the priest subsequently blessed it, but God rejected it and never credited it into your account. The worst thing that can happen to you is when you give to impress man and you never give to impress God. Men will never bless you. All they will do is to appreciate you and commend you, but only God will bless you. So if you actually give to receive blessing from the Lord, give from a pure heart, not from a heart of bitterness, of rancor, of animosity, of grudges. You can remember him, Madam Meregi, for years. You have many chronicles in your heart. Unforgiveness will not only hinder your offering, it will hinder your prayer. Do you notice that in Mark? The Bible says when you stand praying, standing is a posture in prayer. It doesn't matter the posture you take in prayer. Maybe you stand to pray or you kneel down to pray or you lie down to pray or you lie down to pray. You see, any posture you take in prayer does not matter. What matters is the posture of your heart. Is your heart pure? If your heart is not pure, you are not praying. You are playing. You are a joker. You are a joker. Stop deceiving yourself. Stop deceiving yourself. You are wasting your effort. You are dissipating energy for nothing. You have your right and opinion to remain unforgiving. But the word of God we never change or bend to suit you. God's word has a benchmark and is sacrosanct. 
And what is the word of God? If you do not forgive those that offended you, God will never forgive you. It's a final thing. Forgive. That is the best gift you can give to your offender. The forgiver has the last word. I forgive you. Forgive. Forgive. May the Bible go on again. People were the reasons not of okay. Then, for instance, somebody like Joseph. Did Joseph have any reason to forgive his brethren? The Chorion. In fact, in one of the occasions, he was asking them, I can look at your faces, your resemblance. Ulu Yiro Ulu has here, yes, we are brothers from one father, but with different mothers. Actually, we are 12. One is with our father. One have died. Bible. Joseph. They saw him. He was crying before them. They saw the him. Share the money. Only God knows the ratio they used to share the money. And they tear his garment, turn it in pieces, brought it to his father, and said, Why don't him kill him? Onye Fuha knows Onya has Yanna as an anomano double one noon or see on one no more, no quay high nor Manego Ketere Diana Ba Umunna Umunne Obiojo. Joseph supposed to retaliate. He forgave them. What is your reason why you should not forgive? I can go on and on and on. Raising principles from the word of God. Forgiveness. Can I say finally? It's never a word. It's an attitude. Forgiveness is never a word. It's what? Attitude. Hey! I got this no way. Abba Aragomia Mana eh? Chinaka, I already oak. Can you do more already? Abba Aragomia Mani Memunia gave been a bay. Excuse me, any grand were a such time. I got the busy in Bar Hobo, he be begging a wonder working. You claim you have forgiven this person. But at the sight of that person, something will struggle in your heart. deliverance. Forgiveness is an attitude, not a word. If I actually have forgiven, show it attitudinally. Attitudinally. Onya kenegi send the kekume umuokwan. No biocha. Now let me say something. Let me say something. Forgiveness does not mean forgetfulness. Uh-uh. Obran ifonya he manche desi noya tinyere poison. Chineke zog. Iye cheteya. Mano why ni cheteria? Yet you don't bear grudges against him. Forgiveness is not forgetfulness. We are in a world that people will enjoy you. And one of the things that is painful about this matter is that those that hurt you, they never know how deeply 
they hurted you. Jesus, my Lord. Kai. The first time I could have The second one, the in pain. In my heart, a papia. Forgive them, for they know not what they are doing. The thing you know, I that statement you know, so for years. You know, Jesus in Omaro na business, Omaro na achu chana gunolo, Omaro ni imu chana, Omaro, Omaro, bagaria. Forgiveness is not for that person, it's for you. It's for you. And whosoever bent on revenge should dig two graves. That is a Chinese proverb. Onya obona na api akobo ni aya abori robo, ya je ngo ini na abo. Because you might not survive it. Forgive. Forgive. It is not easy, but it's a principle of the word of God. Stephen Kana atu okute. Gene Kana atiri okute no okulo kuchu. He said, God never count the sin to their charge. Agu nye kwa na meha, na meha. Then I could At there people in this meeting, you are still revengeful. You are in for retaliation. Vengeance is my, saith the Lord. I shall recompense. Eba I can no way surrender in the matter of forgiveness. Vengeance is what? So whosoever venture on vengeance. Bonyori. Vengeance is God's property. Don't try it. Onyo abu na tinye la kane ibo abu. Onye kobu. Ine zuru property chineke. He says, vengeance. is mine. I shall. Chineke bobo onyi ro go abu. Oma yi hoi eme. Ine na chintu ya ngeche na eko. Chuku me bo ye mo hit ye yoga saya. Hapuru chuku. And that Bapani Bob, Macau de Belan Akuzurun Nenun Ebun Negari Chinek order Chinek Tibo Mankir Mero Waga Hanisia Yagore Tibia to Jehovah Kuchia Yoku, Kewe Mara Nebuchi, Mbongewa, Ne Dunya Chinekos, you are a man Mankir. Who are you to send him on errand? Allow him. He may not retaliate now. He may not retaliate when a man kills his life, but vengeance is the Lord's. Learn to let go and let God have his way. That boy can spend the lego, he be a chariego, go away with the business. My cock where I can one day work, one tinty, may go win your yo. My marriage will never say. He na no so no na abong kuno no 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 so forgive him. Not to baragi me hapuzi egi me ya abandon no 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 so don't have our same partners. You are same partners. That's how God sees you. Forgive him. Forgive him. Now that girl is spend the leg away so ya na upo ne me chani ga ni a kita ko wazila ni a seni aman no zigi. Forgive her. Forgive her. It's a critical matter, yet it's a benchmark. I have no substitute. I have checked the Bible. There was none. So don't even check. I have done that. And where there any substitution for forgiveness, the only thing the Lord says, if you do not bring it, verse 26. Quickly, quickly. Oh, Verse 26. But if you do not forgive, neither will your Father, which is in heaven, forgive 
you are trespasses. Oburo ni mwagara ho. Nna gi nke ni igwa ma mwagara gi. Hey! Is there anybody here who don't ask God for forgiveness on daily basis? On daily basis, you forgive, you ask for forgiveness. Now, God is saying, forgive that person based on the proportion of forgiveness you are receiving from me. Gini konya amerigi. Gini konya amerigi. Na ako koba nki mere chuku. Okay, we go to sins. Mobo na anya di oche ya degi. God is saying, forgive this person based on the proportions of forgiveness you receive from me. When you trust, la say you go wine. Can you notice it's in a gina dia? Yana digging a dinner. Forgive her. The man he trust, la saw you work it. Gina ne make oil ho fuma. Can you notice it's not a dinner when you forgive him. Your wife, he trusts you so much. Can you notice it's not a money lo? Forgive her. Your husband, he na angry you. Kime chazi na fuzi ya na wana ina jena WhatsApp na phone ya. Ijo your go me chazi ni mazi jide your kwete. Forgive him. Otherwise, forgive, forget about help from where, from above. Nka ihu nu baro chara. Omu kubendo zoka eche gata. Aika ya agakwa. The word of God is powerful. There is no equipment that God has to change life except the word. And the Many, many years ago, what is the secret behind a man? Behind you honoring the word of a man. Chukugini kam mane meme mbe berezam osimu nkuo ku eno ikuo anom. I honor those that honors me. Chine can ha go out forgiveness kita ejo. Pia kobo. Sege nembongewa. Naya ha we awa. No nya ni ye me cha cha ye. If I, do you know we are asked God in a quoku forgiveness? Some of you ne be mere konyi roge da bana kage. That is one of your prayer points. Chukwa ye make di he kam man kiro da banya na kam. Kam for ya konubo. Kam ta ya ka bacha. Kam no ya kam borog. Ne nu de beri ne be. Ne u de beri ne be. Do you want God to honor your prayers? Do you want God to hear when you speak? Hear his word. Honor him. That's the word of God. Number what? Honor for Kaekano. Hey, I anakwa. Number four, what hinders help from above? Unfulfilled vows. Unfulfilled vows. Ecclesiastes chapter 5. Oh, how I wish. Na ndan on a projector. Genyemiana NLT. I like the way NLT rendered that verse of the Bible. Ecclesiastes chapter 5. Verse 4. Ecclesiastes chapter 5, verse 4. Now see, okay, NLT, yes. Let me read it from the projector. When you make a promise to God, don't delay in following through. For God takes no pleasure in who? In fools. Keep all the promises you make to him. Verse 5. Quickly, please. 
It is better to say nothing than to make a promise and not to keep it. Verse 6. Don't let your mouth make you sin. And don't defend yourself by telling the temple messenger that the promise you made was a mistake. That will make God angry. And he might wipe out everything you have achieved. Unfulfilled vows. I'm going to station it in two ways. Number one is marital vows. The vow you exchange on the day of your wedding. The vow between you and your husband, between you and your wife. When you don't keep these vows, it will hinder God from sending help to you. The second vow is a personal consecration vow. The vow of your personal consecration to God personal dedication or devotion to God. You say to God, I will be working in the midnight to pray. I will be fasting once in a week. You have a personal devotion or consecrated life. When you don't keep to your vow, God sees you as a covenant breaker. Most importantly, God does not take pleasure in fools. Anyone here who doesn't fulfill vow that he or she makes, God sees you as a fool. Chineke na fuga sonyi beribe. And he does not take pleasure in fools. Do you make vow of money to the church? And you have no page. You might have your reason, but I'm showing you the word of God. Do not tell the messenger that the vow you made was a mistake. The Bible said that will make God angry and he might wipe away all you have achieved in life. God does not take pleasure when you make a promise and you don't keep it. Have you made a vow? Spiritual vow, consecrational vow, material or financial vow. Go and pay. That vow you are holding is holding the help from above for you. God sees you as a fool. And even when you pray, your prayers will sound before him as a prayer of a fool. I'm not going to Jesus, I want to go home. You will never regard him. You will never give him attention. You will never do anything about it. Only Zuzu, what is something? When you are praying and you don't keep vow, you don't keep spiritual promises, marriage vow, commitment to God, he never sees you as any other person than as a fool. And it's dangerous when God looks at you as a fool. Number five. The fifth thing that hinders her from God is dishonoring God. Dishonoring God. He honors those that honor him. First Samuel chapter 2. Verse 30. First Samuel chapter 2. Verse 30. Dishonoring God. Dishonoring God. Do you want God to honor your prayers? Why don't you honor his words? When a man dishonors the Lord, the Lord will surely dishonor his prayers. First Samuel chapter 2 verse 30. Wherefore, the Lord God of Israel saith, 
I said indeed that thy house and the house of thy father should walk before me forever. But now the Lord said it, be it far from me, for them that honor me I will honor, and they that despise me I shall be highly esteemed. This was a word of prophecy from God to the house of Eli. God said to him, I have said that your house and the house of your father will be my priest forever. You didn't keep your side of the promise. If you really want anything from God, then there is a side you must play and there is the role God will play. In every coin, there are two faces. In fulfillment of promises, there are things you must do and there are things God will do. And when you don't do yours, Never you blame God. Never you blame him. God was saying to them, I told you that your house and the house of your father will be my priest forever. Man, oh man, oh man, you dishonor me, therefore I dishonor you people. Dishonoring God. When you take the word of God for granted, when you don't obey the Holy Scripts, when you dishonor the word of prophecy, when you trample on the foot, speak, speak word of God to you. Just like this evening, I came from our nature with my wife and my young daughter. I don't know you. But the word of God came through me because whenever God wants to save a life, he will send a messenger to that person. That's the only thing God does. I am here as God's messenger. And part of the things I'm sharing with you, they were what God said that I should say. I never spoke with Yavika or any of the team ministers. They just gave me the team. And I prayed. When I prayed, the Lord said to me, the first day, tell them what attracts my help. The second day, tell them what happened when I send the help from above. The third day, tell them what hinders help. By the time I'm closing now, I will tell you the topic of tomorrow. Because I received three, four of them from Onecha before coming. We prayed over the meeting. And as we are praying, part of the thing the Lord said that hinders help is unforgiving spirit. Say, well, let me tell you, it is dishonoring God and he will dishonor you. You are dishonoring God. You didn't want to honor his word, but you pray and you want him to honor you. There are your man, man. He honors those that did what? That did what? Number what, please? Number six. A. The sixteen marriage crisis. Marital crisis is one of the things that can hinder help from above. Can you look at Malachi chapter 2? I want to read it with NLT, please. Those are the projects of NLT. Malachi chapter 2, verse 13 and verse 14. Marriage crisis hinders help from above. 
There is another thing you do. You cover the Lord's altar with tears, weeping and groaning because he pays no attention to your offerings and he doesn't accept them with pleasure. Look at the next verse. You cry out, why doesn't God, the, the Lord, accept my worship? I will tell you why. Because the Lord witnessed the vows you and your wife made when you were young. But you have been unfaithful to him or to her. Though he or she remain your wife, Patma, and the wife of your marriage vow. You can just oppose the English as case may be in the midst of application. Now, first Timothy, sorry, first Peter chapter 3, verse 7. Let me read it now NLT again. Then I will apply that. We'll go to the next one. First Peter chapter 3, verse 7. We will now join the two scriptures together and see what the Lord is saying. The same way, you husbands, give honor to your wives. Treat your wife with understanding as you live together. She may be weaker than you are, but she is your equal partner in God's gift of no life. Treat her as you should so that your prayer will not be hindered. Apostle Peter, by the revelation of the Lord, knew that crisis in marriage carries capacity to hinder prayers and help from above. Most times we don't give attention when we have crisis in marriage. We just allow it to linger and to linger and to linger unnecessarily. You know your wife is not happy. You didn't go to her to inquire why. You know your husband is angry. He's not happy. You didn't tell him, what is the matter? And when you give such space, the devil will take advantage of it and hinder your prayers. Whereas, the word of God in the book of Malachi as well as First Peter was addressing the men about their wives. In application of the word of God, I can apply the same scripture to women for their husband and the men for their wives. You must check how are you people relating? And where are some messages somewhere? Most of my meetings in Onicha is about family, marriage, and all that. Most meetings, I with the other meetings, I age, when I will handle couples forum for the married and singles forum for the unmarried and other major major meetings. So when you can ever take it, or like the message in a USB, is purely for the married people and for anyone who want to enjoy a joyful marriage, or the one in a MP3. Nande, we last year we had a couples forum and we dealt with a critical matter and God helped them and God blessed them. Sorry, God does not bless him, God does not bless her, He blessed them. There is them that God is looking at in relationship between husband and wife before He releases his blessing. Some men will like God to bless him so that he can maltreat the wife. Some women will like God to bless her so that she cannot be subject to her husband. But can I assure you, beloved, God did not bless him or her. He blessed them. In our nature, last November couples forum, I taught on godly family for godly generation. Unless our families are godly, our generation will never be godly. He said, there are critical messages. 
I thought about the power of choice for the young people. Some young people want to marry. They are marrying, making choice at the present. They are not thinking about future. You know, the know the girl who not your chairman marketer. I see now get the one in John John. Or the couple here go. Kaju anya. If you think that beauty determines love, sorry, you have made mistake. And the problem of the young people is that they actually marry somebody they loved, and they never knew they must love the person they married. It is not enough to marry somebody you loved. It is much more to do what? To love the person you marry. Makoi no chazie wa yi we funde maram we be hajusir. Eno chan wa inde mam we we nu pute inasi biya 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 ebe kanda no zimbe no ronwa. And that is the time you should go back to marry and to love whom you have married. Anyway, I'm not teaching on marriage. But I want to address your mind that there are many tapes that addresses the issue of marriage and family crisis. I took time in March last year to teach about romantic partners in marriage. How a husband and wife could be romantic. Romantic does not mean sex. It's a mutual relationship. It's about you too. It's about you too. You begin this journey alone. How about you, Mark Abata and Amare June? All these children, they are passengers. Very soon they will leave. My father and my mother, they are living in our nature. We are six. All of us are living away from them. In fact, I about Hannah about Adam and Eve. I Hannah about this. The children that is bringing problem. They are not part of the marriage journey. They are just passengers. They are not part of you need to know the rudiment of keeping your marriage out of crisis. Now, marital crisis does not mean marital breakdown. There is no marriage that is void of crisis. But the problem is, do you allow the crisis to deteriorate in such a way it will now result to separation? You see, you didn't know, so, uh, man, I go now, I go here. Why, and I was you, or only no, 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 for a bit of good. I go away, we go cap here, honey, my bunny. Monk, why, our bumble was in a bedroom, poor general room, my cardinary. Is that where you are sleeping before? What is your problem? You are giving certain room, and you don't know. You think you are wise. That marriage is your greatest benefit in life. Handle it with care. And look, the marriage you now by saying a voicemail. You want to go phone on a voicemail. Yeah, how about I go? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I can hear you now on a voicemail or by saying no service. By intern here, you born up on Molo syllable. Each one word, where is that too many questions? In your in the umba, in a pop, eh? In your anata, amam. In the beregundi, mosogu. Ba ke ya mana kalaba wenu ko abodo. Because ona baba nam namare jo me me piara mi hen nakuz. Now, in summary, do not allow marital crisis. Move for the way crisis in marriage. Can why a brother baby no no ka? Siki abi abi bereke. If we sumo ka gari bochiri ebe na yad. Marriage crisis hinder your prayer, whether at home or in the church. 
God is a witness. He sees what is happening, and I can assure you he will react accordingly. Settle your problems amicably. I took time in one of the tapes to deal with how to handle marriage crisis or misunderstanding. I took time to teach on that. Number one thing in Kurubu, I don't want to teach it now, but let me give you about three tips. It's about 11. Number one, listen to one another. Listening is deliberate. Hearing is passive. The problem of couple is that they hear, they don't listen. What did she say? What point was he making? And I'm on a queen on a bamba, give you coku. I'm on a bamba, man, I can't be hope. And in the end, we didn't walk, no, a bamba, no, a bamba. So, I'm going here, no. If you really want your marriage crisis to stop, the first thing is to do what? Listen. Get good at digging. On a bamba, no, if we are, get the point you are making. And the second one, deal on the problem. Stop dealing on one another. Deal on the matter, not on each other. Oh, yeah, I didn't. Two more quickly. Wickedness. That's number seven. Wickedness. Wickedness. If there is anything that hinder her from the Lord, it's when a man's on a woman's heart is wicked. A lady in a kuma kamadam yani abi. Or send a madam about a wickedness in a job madu. Nsia mana wako hana abonu. Eche mweda na du wuma anaba jom madu. Ono de gini wicked. Ose mumba na du wuma anu de wickedness. And de gine kwa. When you are so wicked, you don't have mercy. God can never give you mercy. Mercy is a siege. Mercy is when somebody deserves punishment and you have mercy on him. Issues may come in your life when you deserve punishment from the Lord, he pay you from that account. Because you are merciful to people, God will be merciful to you. You are not merciful to your servants. Give me boy now five years. Five years. Five years. And so they confirm Don't be wicked. village. Don't be wicked. House help. The Nabunu. In a maltreat here. Nechi yonu na hana. Na boyi yi. Na koyonu. You are wicked, madam. God will not send help to you when you need it. A woman. Na chomboro nkafo. Mane ngwelo bele ngwa botaria. This little child, on a child, on a Now, boy, all kinds of unprintable names. The child was not happy with her until one day. She came for prayers. The brethren never had a revelation. She never had a revelation. She never had a revelation. She never had a revelation. 
were na e megide nwa nwe ekpochi obi na ebi nye ya nwa nke ya ebe obu na nyeri ya nwa nke onye ozo ozu nwo ona eche na omu ga enye ya nke ya ya la ya chi azu je we puto oge we zu onwa aga me enye ya nke ya the woman went back and started treating the child fine she was no more wicked to her and after some months she became pregnant wickedness what a kiriti be yi he ba ibo ya apa ama nwa yi na emoti enwa yi he ti enwa yi he wo totale ti e ti yokwe ya ojide ya ta ya aru ta ya ezbaru iti be nwunye gi he ba ndi ya da na esu aka no nu uzo na sigi na ebo na ebo na omo nwa yi bukwe ekwe nsu omo nwa yi bukwe ekwe nsu otutu echu na eje waru uka hasin ene ha wickedness when your life is wicked you will never meet the blessing of god final idolatry and we pray idolatry idolatry bi bela rose ihe obu na nwere onodu chineke na ndogi bi bela rose anything that have taken the place of god in your heart is idolatry be it jewelries be it fashion be it clothes be it anything your children your husband your position your family anything that takes away the position of god in your heart is idolatry Another way of practicing idolatry in the recent 2021 century is visiting all kinds of people in the name of prayers. Several of us na eje many many places e ba in eje anara ekpere. Listen. Dibe ade wuzikwa Dibe and there was a native doctor no the rain all the native doctors they have changed to prophets but they are still practicing native doctor using bible in disguise be very careful ebi na eje so siege ebi na eje anata miri nso mmanu nso ude nso akwa ojuku nso echafisi nso handkerchief nso onye mmeye ina achogari ihe nso ye eji na aka onye mmeye na acho ihe nso na aka the recent idolatrous practices of the church has become so great that god is looking at his church as prostitute chineke na afu for ni maya senda ashawo ebob na aka ugbororo mi je man of god o si je na bo do je gbota aja e ba moto na bo bodo gbota moto bu ogu do uzo e bi na na isi chineke na aja ke ile ji gbote be nna gi e be ki fun go jesus christ on ascending man na no bodo nje gbota aja this are some of these developments na e make o bi ai po na e bo ku chineke nde banye in frivolities faith cometh by hearing hearing the word of god obu do live all him some of you were big go to see olive oil o di na beg kita o di na beg kita you no longer pray o e to say olive oil ko go an blood of jesus blood of jesus blood of jesus blood of jesus e se ron ha ile me ga chu nda mus e go ro sticker sticker man on no zogi e dey ya holy ghost zone satan keep off o kwa nda mus bi ha go ya ha go chaya ha batata aga ha ta chakwa aga ha pata goya before ha po idolatry idolatry e be ki na eja na re ebere ukwu ga aga ona tire moto re 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 ije wa rogun state e me 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 bado no nwere nke nwoke nwa asu no na ebe ebere 
listening for this story. I want to share the story and we pray. It happened in Lagos here. I will not tell you the church. But my, some of you might hear the story. A woman and her husband, they waited for the fruit of the womb for almost 16 years. The man was very rich and he is a deacon in the church and the wife a deaconess. Several church members are working in their factory and big industry. He has helped so many people in the church. He's very rich and a child of God too. One day, the wife fell victim of idolatry. Sister Amara may be in a brother. Amara may be in a brother. Yes, now we can have a phone to follow. How can to follow go on a phone? Obro kwa chineke. Sigi no on a phone cha. Ncha ko on a phone. Obro ho chuku. And most of you, problem u gibu ni choro. Onye ka akoro gi ihe. Excuse me. Mbo number phone u kita. Obe new thing. Oye ma bu ho number phone u gibu. What is wrong with you? Why do you always like to go? Any man of God in or under him, and he never condemns sin with a frowned face, run away from him. He will lead you to hellfire. The man of God, run away. Umaka shine shine boba abata kwara na oloka nda na agbisi punk efi na post on oro otu na ima ma no ko na ede osa geda hi igbo osa ma ho igbo otu ai maram na ha mbun na am de ze ono gide nche nje ya ima na na ndebo god day is the king naz as the apostle God the kings. Imano won't even try to go away. Makeba Ben Nam Johan Apostle God the kings has taken a hammer on you. Oh, my kids, he punk. Businessmen on the pulpit. I know, 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 some of you are patronizing them. That's why they are still in business. It's not he go Bible. It's not he go roku chineke. It's not he soro monso. It's all only guys singing yani ebere ge ebere nugu. No nugu se bula na no fwe be one yade. Send you on na Facebook. Na send yani ebere ge ebere send your prayer point. Ima kwa ni ebere ebere wa hal. Abu na unwe the time. Ona ambi akiti ku kuchukweba. And I may so on my Facebook. Let's send. I'm ministering now. What type of thing? Money is said one and more. Who now have you on a Facebook? I am now on on a mountain in Ocean State. Send your prayer point. Signal three days. Nyaya up. On when we prayer point, just send there before three days. Nyaya up. And nyaya not twenty one days. No. So each of you are a brew on each of you born. Hey, you got the one that joy. I got it. I got it. I got it. Joy. Matthew, I got joy. I'm a joy. I'm here. The woman fell into this idolatry. Somebody told her name was a man, Nebado. 
onye oge mo je ba hokuru nwa na da ma na enwe resort gbo bu na eje na nke she went with her she never told her husband where she was going she said to her husband we are going for a night meeting she also felt it was a night vigil only to discover she was the only one in that vigil 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 11.30, she didn't see anyone. It was 12 in the night. One man came, and don't hear near, he said, I'm not the man of God. The man said, I don't know what I'm going to do, I don't desire to do it. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to do. Gagareba church o kiri kiri. Na okwori ya na azi ya na ebe ebele. Na azi na otu ansi wewe kwa mbiya. Otu haka mesi kwa mwa mwoke. Dikones. Kwa rombi na azi. Na gagari. Otu ansi wewe kwa mbiya na azi. Otu haka mesi kwa mwa mwoke. Otu haka. A dikones in the church. These people ne li du ni into idolatry. Asi na avya rebe de zi no no. In my problem, we get a go Bible. In where they fit, it do too busy. And some of us in Nigeria, I am budogi who na Bible, teaching principles, showing you from the Word of God. You never take it so delight. Ni in where opportunity to sit under us. There are a lot of idolatrous practices going on in the name of prayers in this present time. Many arrange testimony. Arrange. Arrange. And we program up on the Munshi. See on the Munshi can. Na PFN. Na kine wane emea. I thought it was truth. I'm in knowledge. I don't live in Lagos. When I bomb now, you seem that you have got one day, just one day is ago. I gave them one day. When they printed the poster, somebody called me. I'm on a morning. I was an evangelist. Now for your picture in the midst of Gago. Nandem for begin a picture of Bunda, my man, a leg or sir. No, ndi, 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 ndi. I'm on course with both of her. I said, Oh, my guy, Nacha. Prophet A. O. Matthew. Prophet Davis D. Kiru da hadi. I pray the Lord said that I should go. That you are the only hope for sincere seekers in that meeting. That in Metro that day. You are my only hope for sincere seekers who will come sincerely to seek me. I went there and preached the word of God. After my ministration, okay, five minutes more, thank you. After my ministration, the next morning, now, nah, by flight, now, nah, I think I preached either on Wednesday or thereabout. But on Saturday morning, the same number of bombers. Same that day, now one of that man of God in culture, nine eighty, I hear it. I teach I hear now my boy chiga. You see, I get to come and ask my boy chiga. Man, I can't teach I go there. See, 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 do the, see, see, do what? Oh, can you give me a Lagos? Here, name me Nabu now. Be the one Nabu now, no more nature. So I watch your man's letter. Same na here, bisha go yaka. Kuri chamo to ya. Oboro arrange testimony. 
Machin Yerudo, my heart teacher, come on, all these gospel artists. Wake, if a crowd don't know Mwengara, Kai, if a madam. I ministered and left. As na the man of God, Ebiara. No Zuma Pota, Kari Abu Abu, now Machari, now Babu, one man, or Mapota. Tie. So no more in your you could no more in your you no more in your I see your guinea. Or see this man be at her crusade in a calabar. Near Madden, near your fuels, or no, they got three years ago. There were so see the five thousand naira now queer. Somebody near five million, I just want to hack it up. Now, here, Kabia and Lagos, where you post that, see Kabia, send in the neighbor, no, but one, no, no, Chorita, Polinto, the Kabia has so seed. The man will take a sermon of God, and may so pause, and may so pause. Or send him, Mother Chita Bumoka. Man in so watch, shoe, handset. Near to the woman who the Ghana must go, how we put in Abania. Where Boko Yeni in a soul, go say now Ghana must go and ego table, ego te, where the bed ever. And I watch. Ebe Ketena went to a Puzike. But now one boy, Kese Saidi. As no, ya, ya noba, cause I de very far out, out sketch of Lagos. That's a better than Nukwaka from Wish. Case what are the boy, do we are in a wheelchair? The man of God now, but I won't go, could you walk? Arrange your testimony. Senana Babu, much in the canal, we are no more on your drug age, Jeba. No more on Gurog, Jeba. The mother, but then they won't go up on Gurones, Oku. Yes, and Oboha. No one can march in the canal. No one can march in the canal. One thing to acquire and can I be also near you. The Lord said, You are going to walk tonight. May you want me to buy a money, Jabiji. This is my game, a crusade. That's a publicity. This is a day, Bells. Mara, the boy, it's here. See, can't come. The girl and the queer and the onion on us, and the chonom or see only an onion and two million streets. Near more noble or see the show. So, boys, rush at the boy. Okay, miracle, mere. Tia, tia, has he or see a big cool native book on ya? No, thirty five thousand. Can the man of God look at the anangua? No, you get twenty. Ya, no, ya, and I'll quit and I'll wait here. Five thousand. Where ten thousand, where higher than which year? Now, now see because I see you they go there, go in your top year balance here before we. Hey, Harosh, yeah, the boy is in here five thousand. In here five, be a see I need five million. I hold you to a. See, I see a big one. Not quite twenty five thousand. Can you help? No, you get fifteen. Not for the ten. Big one, eight. Big one. No, I see a cool. How we show the man of God. Work it down microphone also. Hachia, do they have you? I can't. Who follow me? I'll follow me. Tilly coach you, Bobu. A big in a jar, not a better. A big can a horror. A big can a brug, mama. A big in a wage, gogi. You may have a good seed, but when you sow it in a wrong soil, you're unfortunate. There are many of you. Good seed, DG. But bad soil. There is never a time a good seed can produce in a bad soil. You are wasting your money because you never know the principle of the word of God. Can cut up our own better now. But why could I tell you Nazo? The man of God is here now. Nachineka no get better. Yeah, now three months. Odime. More than one work a double. But see any of the Thanksgiving in one worker. Odiego. Here the man over the husband. Jueto Mama Bukosta. 32 seaters. Tia Leda. 13.8 million. A way double cold rooms. Okwa. Now feed, eat, drink, and be merry. Church was jubilating. How many people were? 
Ebeki in age, idolatry. Only be gay, jecha, potter. Mbezere, bere, chukwa, juizankem, juiza kunkonya. Makomani as zankem, he gave with Joe to two, neighbor. I need a young fortunate. And we're a big gay, Jesse Apota. Mbere, bere, chineka, juize, berem. Makoman, all Zaya, he jane yen apple hot you to two, or watch it again, kitty. A baby in a jacket, do dundee, and a pot and a baby. Madame, can you do the gain a hano? It's a no man of God, na Baba Ganaban, Ganyan, and midnight. Now, Maro Ziggy. What type of man of God do you have? Now, Baba Ganaban, I say, married woman, when I know midnight. What type of midnight is that? The devil has changed his tricks. Two years after the man, Jokuru G.O. Church, huh? it's a very big church. I go, I see a G.O. That the G.O. need that join him like a wire. G.O. say, I'm not going to children department. Say, no, no, okay, but. Now, for two years, now, one had a Jokuru. Or down, now, now. Or they cook. Or down, man, only been in bar for Julia. Oh, Boba say, he man, only fair, no far. He got figure for me, Gio, see again. Mbongwa. See, I'm bow. Gio, now, so in a church. Declare 14 days fasting. Who volunteers in the mad of volunteer? Gio, see, and I gave me 14 days. Man, seven days. I had a chocolate in a church here. The next seven days, I bought a one herba. Now, you're a Jerry region. Seven days, bread and nail, born on the I bet you cut in a church, but I bet a church. Tongue, tongue, na dan dagaraga. People were praying with body. On the fourteenth day, a web on one hobby. Jesus is a body at the altar. No, you could do kuta. Then we go miracle upon miracles na church here. Nanka won't go better. Why they were praying in loud voice, prophecy, yeah. Chineke si G.O. Onrum, jugo di wan anya, ebo si we kute iha. Ebe eko si kute iha. G.O. na si kedu de prophecy di iha. No na church ya. This is where God blessed them. And this is where they gave their thanksgiving. O si a jwa yi hen warage, abale sa ta kan ti hori onya nobi. Now we are see again in the road you watching kit in the net. Kumumbu, ne born in a baby, all my hen and where do you do surprise? This is where Jed Oman Mike. Why we call him on Guadun Church waiting cyber people that way back at do you would do who now and a wound your idea do woman on your bona nebe for hours. Chuku on your be a very. Come on, you get better, better. After hours, prophecy does. What you know, can see a new year, Berun, Nanya Mirun. On we see it, I can make you one year, one work also. Manegua, I'm a one one a bear. No garden, double half for funny here, told Tanya and is an honor. Go away, nature, tea, Joe, Jerenazum. Do man now, Mom Waketa, the da boy, Caddy. On a new seal for a Ode ekwu okwu oda na na ode ejije oburi ho jetara na eje ebe ki na eje na onye bo man of god e ho na apigare ga aka na ara na udu text message on e send rigi na udu sexual advances on e me onye na abo daadi what type of place ki na aga ha o nwere ebe ga emi je ndi mozi anachira asu hapo so so gi tonight as i want to pray o nwere uzo ihe sata e foro what you keep what you get better? I want to pray with you. Eight things that can hinder help. And I want to mention it quickly and we pray. Can you help me at the projector number one? Those not a projector. You, number one, no? Secrecy. Number two, pride and arrogance. Three, unforgiving spirit. Four, unfulfilled vow. Five, dishonoring God. Six, marital crisis. Seven, wickedness. Eight, idolatry. 
better. And you want tonight to settle it with God. Come to this altar. I want to pray with you. If there is any of them, the Lord is saying to you, it will hinder the help from God. Please come to this altar. Let's beg God to help. Let's beg God for help. Abu no were any of them much in a can I wagi. Bianne be to a jack, I yoch in a can yamaka. Onye mara, moge mera ye better than Abalia. Ibia Ruana ota, bidogo bachinek and cobble. Bidogo bachinek and cobble. Make a chinek and mara, and I may get the new rugi. Nje he get the Kwanajo Nugo. David the Sichinek and may him the new room. Make it again, and you can make it work. I'll be here, John. John, and you can make it work. David, the man, I'm here. My sister, confess to God. My brother, confess to God. Ask God for forgiveness. Ask God for mercy. Ask God for forgiveness. Ask God for mercy. O kari imani ibela nyan miri na balia. Kari ani ibeli anoku mumboli la nyan adi hosi nyeregaka. On your beer bed and on your maracachina cable. On your nada, we won't see so. On your nabo banner bed. On your nabo bagara mehe. On your nasacha jomome. Your chinake and bagara. Bom me ya ha ha niru chinake. Make on maran o uteregi. Make on maran o uteregi. Thank you, Father. Hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Your chinneke ya wezu kaya ni megi. Hi hombo na ge bochi o gwa kaya nandoge. Obro na e mwegi mbwa gara. Gwa chinneke na e mbwa gara gonya. And the mbwa gari ya ni me mona ne zoku. Chinneke na enyo chima alobi na enyo cha koro. Nye mbwa da mbwa de gari dore ya nya. Oma zori henile. Jesus, Jesus, no room, I'm quite Pride, Equanaka pride, Bochegi, Hachinaka, or Imeregi. Obia to worry to one and Kelp, Wepia, Wepia, Chinaka, the Eladayana, Equanaka and Ganga, Nifulio, Mogelu, Nakan de Kande War, Bochegi, Hachinaka, or Imanando, and Abalea. Jesus, Jesus. Save your no room. 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 
Kalambo Bossi Aike Bossi Aike Bossi Aike Bossi Aike Jesus Let's take it for the last time. Chinia Kagano Bosia Yuke for the last time. Gabi Gabi Galamo Jesus 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 Jesus. Onyo bi ebere ke bo chineke Onye na abo ba na ebere chinke na adi ga ewi wo si so Aye wela nya miri na obi nti wana ke egwo pere egwo pya we bia ni rungi na ototo a na mbeda Aye bundi ben ko ku ge mara Anya miri ekwe haye wele anya haye lo. Ihere ekwe haye ele kwa sega anya. Aya yomba gara chineke. Nuzo di ichi iche mongi suwe site no kuge we rotora ayaka. Bihe njia ine me wele bochi nyaka genando aye. Onye mwa ebiko bwa gara. Bwa gara izugo kaye. Bwa gara irugeru aye. Bwa gara adigo chaye. Mwagare meta ga ofuma, lote na iba aja na ntu, lote na iba obara na anwaru, lote na iba ihe na akwosi akwosi. Kwe ka mwagi, bu mwagi zuro ke, koda kwa saye. Kwe ka mwagi, bu mwagi zuro ke, koda nje mnando aye. Ki ihe ndi apwa pota la yeba, gare apwa pota ayo, zona ha Jesus Christ. Onye mwa inye ayi ike na amara iji we meri ono dodo tuwa. Na site no bo chita agaba nandu ayi fonduru genye go tuto. Aya ayon go nye zomu me. Diki bo go wora ayi india. Odigi inye gen bo chi enye maka gen nandu ayi. Ekwe nsun anti. Aye mejo gigi. Aye mejo ro chineke. Adige ekuputa mehe nye gigi. Obu chineke. Chineke sa ayi na mwabo na ekuputa ramaziko. Na jokwa ya ni abo nye kwa sere nto kwa sobi. Buro nye zomu mi mwa gara mehi ayin isa cha jomu ma ayin ile. Ya mere nu zobo nan ki gesi we weli isi. Iji mehi ndi ayin kuputara we ma ayin bozo. Ayin ayin kuna waga ge guzo ma odire na ha Jesus. Satan listen, you have no right over another man's servant to condemn or to judge him. And we decree and declare... Na mehi ya nkai mere, nkai kuputere ni iru china ke, nke china ke mwa gara araye, ika geji ya we mai, benako kobo na na ha Jesus. Aine yi kwa su uwa ho, nka sara ni mwa bara Jesus Christ. Wese na bido no bo chita agaba, ndu hai fonduru, age si teni ya we nye china ke kele. Zitela yi nyaka. Ni mo no do obo na nka ina ele kwa se ga anya ya. Zitela aye nya aka. Ngwa ngwa no no do aye a. God ka ga si no le la anya agugo. Zitela aye nya aka. Na ha Jesus Christ. Bo nya ngwa ai.